Okay. It says it should it said we're reconnected. Are we are we reconnected everyone? Oh, of course an ad. I wonder how plot accurate levels are in prophecies. Like what story significance levels have? Yeah, I have no idea what happened on the internet. It, I just saw a reconnecting thing down there. Welcome back everyone. It's good to be back. Versus the fortune, probably less good than uh, Orson feeling here. Oh man, thanks for the description, Dead on Stick. I do appreciate it. Not sure how often I'm going to be streaming, but I definitely want to be streaming this at least somewhat regularly. I've been wanting to be streaming more again. <laughs> That's funny. I should heal myself. Oh, that's hilarious. I noticed that it showed the thing, but it didn't have the pop-up, so I just kind of assumed something wonky was going on. Like it might have still been residually showing from... I don't know, I'll put a point in poppers. Oh, I'm going to have help clearing this out, eh? And, of course, I'm being chased by a wolf. Oh, thank goodness Fairy Kappa also has healing signet. Energy problems. On a whammo? Simpler Wrath could theoretically have some uses outside of pre. I think we're done here. Yep. Nah. Rescue the strong box then. It certainly had his best in pre though. That wouldn't surprise me. It's a cheap source of AoE damage. If you've managed to get the stuff bundled around you. Was it Jacobs? Or Humphreys? <laughs> Click here to select the ally before using Reversal of Fortune. I don't know what you're trying to say with that hint. They're trying really hard with those hints. I like um, Judge's Insight when you're fighting undead in particular. 20% armor penetration plus holy damage is so good against them. Thank you, uh, and thanks for dropping by, Fjord. Have a good sleep. This is the chest of stolen gold that Baron Egan has been talking about. It must have been difficult dealing with those bandits. I'm impressed. If only I had more like you, we'd have no fear of the char at all. And I bet this is a better shield. Yeah, it's arguably a better shield. I need to spend some time merching stuff. Um, I'm going to see if I can get these bees to cooperate with me. Okay, yeah, I see you bees, but I need I need river bees also. Okay. Oh, 
I want to do classic stuff, like knock things down with Hammer Bash and then Holy Strike them. It's a classic. Yay! Cooperative bees. Sorry about that. I was trying to make dough infused with honey, but all it did was attract bees. Not to worry about Neymar, though. I'll see to it Gelson gets off his back. And no doubt Gelson's trying to take advantage of Neymar because he's not from Ascalon. Once he knows there's a citizen willing to stand up for Neymar, he'll back off. Yeah, things definitely change in tenor at that point. I loved, I had no idea about the uh, the searing. I loved that just suddenly hitting you and it's like, whoa. I got some allusions to it with a friend talking about things, but I need one more belt. One more thing and I can get this belt pouch. The rest of the stuff is... Uh, that axe is not terrible. But. All right. Trouble in the woods. The Grawl have been mustering south of the bridge. Let's see if we can turn back their attack. Follow me. Yeah, she's only level 5 here. I'm not quite sure what role she's supposed to have. Yeah. It's this crazy economy between hi high bees and go into this cursed crypt and disarm traps. Deadly traps by ripping out bones and muscle from corpses and animating them to do your bidding. Yeah, pretty much. What is a char doing south of the wall? Good question. Fair Capo is still on my allies list. And don't forget the uh, weird cultic rite with Pitney's pet bird. Indeed. Okay, you might think we're done, but um, I'm still being attacked, so I'm not feeling it. <laughs> uh. My inventory is full. How could I be betrayed by my inventory like this? Oh yeah, this Sesta. Huh. Okay, you know what? Wait, is this a starter sword? Okay, I don't need this starter sword. Get out of here, starter sword. I mean, it's true. Sin strategy is, did you try fire? Did you try more fire? I do feel like they could make some sort of explanation that the searing had something to do with Krakatoric magic, given the giant crystals and everything, and it would make sense. I don't know if they've ever said anything like that, though. I love the 
Prophecy's like cinematic trailer with Sin casting that meteor shower. It's part of what made me want to be an Ellie, probably. My my very first character was an elementalist, but anyway. I I think the village is safe for now. The Grawl are not very intelligent, but even they understand a show of force. What really troubles me is the presence of that Char Ranger. Could he be inciting the Grawl to attack for some reason? Or in Rurik of this threat. Thank you for your aid. I do not have space in my inventory for the quest reward. I shall go visit a merchant that I know to be over here. Hamish. Which I believe is another spelling of James. Uh, I don't need this spiked axe. Cleaver, this tribal blade. Part of me wants to hang on to this for old time's sake, but there's not really good reason to. I'm not going to be using it on this character. Why would I not want to sell the tribal blade? Oh, because that's my sword. That makes sense. I want an ID kit. Save up for an ID kit. Oh, I can sell these Grawl necklaces, I guess. Wow, didn't mean to zoom in there. The thing is, any of these could be highly valuable, which would suddenly skyrocket their value to me personally. You would think you like it it arguably could be an earth skill as well meteor shower i don't know damage types in games are weird like you have to kind of pick something fundamentally so like what's the difference between earth type damage and blunt type damage a lot of the times it's just because they've arbitrarily chosen to differentiate them that way i i think the village is safe for now etc me drinking water. Uh, I will accept this. Thank you. That is definitely better than my starter hammer. Uh, and I will delete this starter hammer. And then go back to my axe, because that's the weapon I'm actually using. I want to go to Regent Valley. I also need to hit up the Devourer Cave. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I need to go talk to Brother Menlo for a couple of things. I want to go to the this area though. This is small. I want a bit bigger, and I usually have it like over here. What am I getting caught up on? Carrying Devourer, stop. It's a long sword. Long, long sword. Hopefully, I didn't do that well enough for content ID. Eh. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing hasn't started yet, but I know exactly what you mean. I 
Yeah, he is. That hidden church thing have nothing in it. Wow. These girls shaman have infused health. How rude. Yeah, give me your stick. Just, just uh, figuring out Menlo lore here, eh? Comes monk tradition to be bold because of uh, is that <laughs> shielding hands feels real good right at here. Okay, this might be a bad idea. I don't know. It's not yet feeling like a bad idea. Concept of heavily armored warrior praying for protection is not exactly painting a picture of brave heroism. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. How heavily armored am I really? I'd argue I'm not that heavily armored yet. Besides, it's, it's uh, supplementing my armor. Yeah, that's how it works. Supplements. Armor supplements. That's true. I am the heaviest armored of uh, of the various professions in Priestering. Cursed Staff is what it sounds like a bad boss would say. These individual gold coin drops are actually pretty good. And even then, they don't have the bonus plus 20 armor against physical, so. My inventory is full. Yeah, I kind of knew it was. Slice of pumpkin pie. Well, now I need to find inventory space for pie. That's something I don't need. The smiting staff. Okay, make me pull it into the destroy instead of just dump it out into the thing. <sighs> my character's too young to throw stuff to the floor. Or my account is too young. This account is all of an hour and 45 minutes long. Old.
You've played this character for an hour and 45 minutes over the past zero days. Across all characters, you've played for an hour and 45 minutes over the past zero days. And also, almost like seven and a half thousand hours on my main account. Very weird to get a small number on uh, slash age, though. Is this my youngest character? Yes. Will not remain that way, I'm quite sure. Because I do intend to make more characters on this account. And there's our healing spring. Yep, exactly. The actual ranger spring that the uh, ranger skill is named for. What am I getting stuck on? Get out of here. Do Devourers use it? I don't think of them as using Healing Spring. They definitely use traps. Okay, I kind of want to fight this sort of scale, though. Oh man, I love that Pre does not have AI AoE scatter. Man, they were holding a lot of money. I'm going to pick up scale fins because I've got two skins here, so that's more valuable than one Grawl necklace. Mm. You know what? More protection prayers. I'm really liking this shielding hands. Oh, yeah. I don't. Can I walk along this river? Yes, I can. For a long time, I used an end screen on my videos that was of my Permapri warrior hanging out in this area. Uh, with that in the background and everything. It's a lovely area, but I have not... Uh, this focus is such a scam. 100 gold for this plus 3 energy focus. And then the star shield for nothing. Weird economy around here, I'm telling you. Uh, ID kit. Yeah, I like this village a lot. But anyway, I lost the... Uh, Actually, well, that just is paying for itself. I lost that video that I, uh, or the video file that I used for that, and I don't know how. I think it was when my hard drive, I don't know, I had a hard drive die on me. And that's why I no longer use Seagate. Approved sale value. They are pretty nice sized houses. Oh man. Look at this 
weird character. These are all of my crafting materials. Yeah, I mean, the door's a little tall. Keep in mind, my character's as short as I can make her. Um, so maybe a taller character would come up to, like, here or something. But these doors are still pretty tall. But the handle's kind of low. Okay, let's go give Aiden his thing. <laughs> I know. Medieval village peasant house, and it appears to be made of stone rather than mud and sticks. It's uh, a very nice idea of things, but it is certainly not accurate. Yep. Oh man, this character gets to go into post searing and open a Shunlai account. Boom. Nothing in it. A <laughs> chimney that stretches from the Hall of Heroes. <laughs> what a beautiful horn. You needn't say who made it. I can see Chantel's workmanship in every graven detail. I can also see that this horn has been purified in some way. Can it be that it was cleansed in a healing spring? Truly, this is the finest hunter's horn I have ever seen. I'm deeply grateful for what you have done. And from this point on, I know, an empty shoe lie, I'll have n so much space to stick random crap. Um, I, I don't know what the default number of panels is. It'll probably be like one panel and mater material storage. And I'll be like, eee! But, I mean, back in the day, we had a panel, no material storage, and only 20 slots in that panel, so. Um, and But from this moment on, Guild Wars 2 Rangers were destined to use horns. Huh? Oh, for default number of panels? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I need to hunt more bears. I have no idea how many how many panels you have on a. I bought the trilogy plus Eye of the North because that's what's available on. Uh, they don't have the complete collection on Steam for some reason, and it's a Steam sale, not a. Um, Store.guildwars.com sale, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. On the other hand, getting on Steam is has other perks, I suppose. I don't know. This is not the way to bears, apparently. I like this little area. There's a lot of neat little areas. Tip, you can learn skills that you can't get from skill trainers by completing quests. That would make sense. One per campaign. I don't know. This character or this account literally has no characters in a position to check my Shunlai. I've, this is so weird to me. Allo. Allo, can I kindly ask you to maybe not? Oh, these are the unnatural seed aloes. Or the, the roots or whatever. I just realized how low my health had gotten. I was distracted by the aloe roots. I have zero use for aloe roots, to be clear. They are for a quest with Aiden that you do as a ranger. And I'm pretty sure I can't get it. But they're dropping anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, I like how many little nooks and crannies there are in prophecies. I don't want to pick up aloe roots because they're worthless. They just take up inventory space. It is weird that they made the bears able to break charm animal. Okay, you know what? Let's just go let's just go foibles fair. I still don't know why my chat is constantly opening itself back up. I am Relina Stormbringer, master of the elements, trainer in the art of air magic. What would you like to discuss? The wayward wizard. I I can tell you where Orion went. He headed out northwest, past the road. He thinks he'll find some royalists there, but Vassar thinks it won't work. I hope he doesn't get himself killed, but he can't expect me to go tromping all over the mountain looking for him. Thanks, Relina. And lightning. Uh, I actually kind of want to salvage that fire wand. Do I have anything I actually want to sell? I don't know. Let's find out. Together. Oh, this longbow is a quest item. It has a 15 over 50 in it. That's nice, I guess. Yeah, an iron ingot out of that. What about this one? Highly salvageable. I mean, I'll probably need some wood on this account eventually, right? Okay, let's go track down Orion and hunt some bears. Uh, I've always loved the bright snow of like wizard's folly but also of mineral springs there's a few other spots a lot of the shiver peaks are kind of gloomy talus shoot is like sunsetty um but a lot of the shiver peaks are are pretty gloomy like blizzard conditions and stuff so it's always nice when it's a nice pretty sunny area overlord 2 was a game with really pretty snow in it Random thought. I love these trees. <sighs> this is not a peasant's house. This is a very nice house. Okay, time to actually go after some black bears, though. <laughs> now it's a peasant prime, no doubt. Man, I'm having a little Tom problem. All the pelts are apparently ruined. I don't feel like it's ever taken me this long to get a pelt before. Also, what was with that attack animation where my character stabbed the bear with the axe? Yeah, that one. I do need to kill more bandits as well, because I need their belts for my own belt. Some Humphreys. There we go. Oh, that bandit was loaded. I think it's just a generic one-handed attack animation. It probably is the same one used on sword, and there it would make sense. But... 
Haha! -ha! Victory! Okay, now I can just make tracks for Orion. The catacombs. I love that there's catacombs entrances all over the place. None of the other regions of the world in Guild Wars 1 really have the sort of overlapping feel that I like. Like, there's an intricacy to pre-searing that the other parts just don't have. And that's due to a combination of things where you have... Um, the, the individual maps themselves tend to connect in a number of different spots. But also the catacombs uh, intersects at several points as well. And that creates such a distinct feel that I quite like. But it kind of makes sense too, like pre-steering was made way later than the other parts. So they had figured out a lot more by this point in time that they made it. Because uh, the PvE was more of a hit than they were expecting when they showed the game off at game shows. I really did not mean to frenzy there. My inventory is a freaking mess. I really want a belt pouch just to be able to start cleaning up my inventory. How dare you come here and threaten me? Don't think I'm afraid of you, but I see no reason to kill you now. Or perhaps you have something of value to say. State your business quickly. What's this? Vassar is at the fair, cozying up to Relina. Curse the day I was born. What am I doing out here? The revolution will have to wait. I'm coming, Relina. Ah, uh, yes. The whole royalist subplot. They want to take Duke Baradin, who has no interest or aspirations for the throne, and was in fact supportive of Adelburn, and install Duke Baradin as king. It's not like Adelburn doesn't have some reasonable claim to the throne, just not as good of one as uh, our other friend. Um, like Duke Baradin has a better claim to the throne, but no guild chat or alliance chat because this character is not in a guild yet. I will be in a guild eventually because I'll add her to my main accounts guild, but... That'll be after stream. It's because it's going to be a little bit of a wonky thing to do. You are making great progress, young one. I am proud of you. Um, that was for that quest. I need to talk to Mirak for unsettling rumors. I leave the delving into dungeons to others. To my mind, uncovering the secrets of an ancient text is excitement enough. How may I help you? Devona sent you. Bless her. She knows I could use the help. I have an important message that must be delivered to Armin Saberlin in Ascalon City. I received a vision from Duena. She warned me that something dire is developing among the Char. The city must be alerted. I'll stay here and see if I can find any more information. In the meantime, consult your map of Lakeside County to hasten your travel. Press M to view the map, then double-click a location to travel there. It is important that this message be delivered with good speed. Remember to use your map. I'm on my way. Now here is somebody in all black armor, which is quite the accomplishment in pre-searing. I don't have a, a bank of dies either. Is Nightmare Killer one of y'all?
I'm just going to warp back to Ascalon City, turn in some more quests. A message from Mirak, is it? Uh, let me see that. Uh, this is grave news indeed. I hope he's mistaken about this. Do way to protect us if this information is accurate. Wow, you're really talking around it and not describing the information very well, are you? If such a thing is even possible, then King Adelburn has ordered this offensive against the Char not a moment too soon. We must not lose this fight, I tell you. We must not lose this fight. So Titus wants you to take on a second profession before you face the Char, right? I think he is right to say so. A second profession gives you access to all of the skills and most of the attributes of that profession. This is a big decision, not to be taken lightly. You might wish to see trainers uh, for several professions and learn a little something about them before settling on one. Not just any trainer can teach you a second profession, but I can direct you if need be. Uh, I already did. Choosing a second profession can be one of the most difficult decisions facing a young soldier, but don't be afraid you have made the wrong choice. There is no right or wrong choice. Every combination of professions has unique benefits and possibilities. Now it's up to you to take advantage of them. You look ready for war, Sophia Ash. Ready as any of us are the first time, at any rate. That's good. From what I've seen, the war party will be prepared to head out soon. You'd best go talk to Sir Titus, lest they set forth without you. Okay, well, we'll do that later. Um... I'm surprised I don't see any boats over there. I don't know. People ain't just, like, walking, are they? Yeah, second profession is just standard training. <laughs> it's true. Where's... What's Rurik's second profession? Praise Duena. I'm so relieved to know he's left the Royalists. I feared he was lost to us forever. I mean... Left the Royalists is a bit strong. But, yeah, I get what you're saying. Hey, Arthur Ayala. I mean, we as players have to have secondary names, and yet here's Elias without one. Can make a Kylo Axe of Fortitude. This Rin Blade is not half bad if I wanted a Rin Blade. Uh, at least relative to what things are right now. This axe would also be a slight step up from my current axe, but not enough to be worth making. I was actually hoping that I could sell stuff to him so I could accept that quest reward, but... Herc's <laughs> clearly warrior slash knocker. <laughs> uh, he has a 3,600 cast skill thanks to a secondary. Yeah, I know. It takes forever, right? Well met, young warrior. It's a glorious day to be alive, is it not? I know some might think of these as dark times with the Char threatening us from the north, but Ascalon is the greatest nation in Fair Tyria. We shall never fall before the Char. Never! This Char agent that you and Devona witnessed leading the Grawl worries me greatly. I've questioned the guards and many of the townsfolk, but none have seen him. I suspect that he is using the catacombs to move through the countryside unseen. My men are all busy safeguarding the wall, and I can spare none of them. If you are willing, I'd like you to go into the catacombs to see if you can find any evidence <laughs> Excuse me, as to where this char is hiding. Perhaps Brother Menlo at the Abbey has seen something. I will find the evidence you seek. Gives me 100 gold for that. Char at the gate. A group of char have broken through the gates. They must be stopped at all costs. Meet me at the gates just outside of town in Lakeside. What say you? Will you help me drive these char from Fair Ascalon? I'm with you, but first I'm with the merchants. <laughs> Uh, warrior knocker. I assume three each means three black die each. My brain automatically read that as like ecto each. Oh, three K each. Some random longbow, a few random artifacts. Need to turn in these worn belts. This tall shield is arguably better than the current tall shield. Armor plus 10 versus char, health plus 15. 
Mm, yeah, this is arguably better since it applies to everything. Yeah, Black Die at the Vendor. Boy, that's been in a while, huh? Okay, let's sell this tall shield. You actually get a lot of money from selling those weapons. I know, it's been so long. It's because he only buys it for a gold. Nobody's going to sell black dye that's worth like an ecto or two to the dye trader when he's giving you one gold for it. Oh man, somebody has the friggin' Devourer mini? Dang. Look at this, it has a Garbage Sundering mod and armor plus 7 versus piercing damage. I love how bizarre and erratic a lot of these uh, weapons are. Just a bunch of monks in black armor. Yeah, I know what you mean. To the gate! Follow me! Quickly, this way. <laughs> Indeed. Well, like, the... People who made it had experience working on Diablo, I believe, so I, I think there's certainly some amount of inspiration from that game, which is kind of a progenitor of a lot of the looter the modern looter games in many regards. So Having the most random mod combinations, but then giving you the option to customize your weapons by subbing mods makes the RNG drop seem pointless. I mean, kinda. That's the last of them. Yeah, let's not stand in lava fonts. That should teach him the fear of the might of Ascalon. You fought well. I see great deeds in your future, young Sophelia Ash. I see a new sword in my future. Huzzah. I need to go turn in a quest with Graston. I might as well do it now. Hmm. I also love the ambient sound effects. Random birds and stuff. That's a lot. Hey, Graston. Good work. Elaine was causing us a lot of problems. We'll make an excellent protector. Thank you for the 250 experience points. That would be good to do. Oh, hey, Brother Menlo. A char ranger south of the wall? Rurik is right to be worried. I have seen nothing, but perhaps Mistress Mune can offer you some assistance. She is much more familiar with the catacombs than I. She does hang out there. Yeah. 
No. Humphreys. There we go. There's Humphreys. Getting all sorts of turned around. This account currently has 207 gold. I'm rich. Or maybe not. But you know. Uh, belt pouch. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> Okay, it's not perfect, but it's better. It is so much better. Okay, I need to visit Alice and the Tanner. Chantal the Troubadour. I don't even know what Walden wants. I don't actually care what Walden wants. But now I'm kind of curious. Maybe I do care. What do you want, Walden? What are you collecting? Ah, you want unnatural seeds. You'll give me... Nothing of a special interest for it. Cool, cool. There's Allison. I found Allison the Tanner. Tanners were traditionally more like at the edge of town, right? Kind of not smack dab in the middle of it next to the granary. On account of them working with uh, nasty smelling chemicals in order to tan things. Hello there, my name is Allison. Pleased to meet you. What's on your mind? Ah, that's a lovely pelt. So wait here, please. All right, here is little Tom's cloak. Can you take it to him? I'm going to talk to Devona. While I'm here and all that. Let's see, the Tithe Frashford Abbey. You have shown yourself to be courageous and trustworthy. I could use your help. With so many bandits and troublemakers around these days, Brother Menlo has asked for my help in collecting the Tithe Frashford Abbey. Duke Baradin is especially generous to the church, and I suspect bandits will attempt to intercept his donation. Can you get Baradin's tithe from his man Grasden and deliver it to me? Grasden will be in Greenhills County, north of here. Ooh, a skill point for this, too. It's sad. These royalist fools oppose King Adelburn because he was not born into nobility. They forget that it was Adelburn who saved us from the Guild Wars and the old king, Grenth be just, who nearly brought Ascalon to ruin. The royalists hope to depose Adelburn and place Duke Baradin on the throne, but no one dares implicate the duke in their actions. I'd like you to go to Greenhills County and search for signs in support of the royalists. Head north until you find a road to Greenhill County and talk to at least three people there. Send them out, sound them out to see if they have royalist sentiments. One warning, though. Do not talk to Warmaster Grast the slightest mention of disloyalty to Aldburn, he is likely to crush your skull. I was wondering when those were going to become available. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go hunt some devourers. You know what? Whatever I get from this tribal blade, I'll be happy for it. I got an iron ingot. I am happy for it. It's strange. At one point, uh, I more or less recreated these maps, for the pre maps in RPG Maker MV. And, uh, boy, that was a project, but I kind of get flashbacks to some of that process. Just 
a weird thing to have lodged in my memory. Hey, Duke Gabin. Another Duke. Uses the same Duke skin. You there, you look like a sturdy warrior. I've tasked my man Fadden here with retrieving devourer eggs for me from the cave over yonder. However, he appears unmanned by the devourers, afraid of being eaten or some rot like that. I need a brave soul to keep the devourers away from Fadden while he does his job for which he has been paid. What say you to that? I'll protect him. I wonder how devour eggs taste. Hmm. They seem quite large to me. Judging by the devour eggs in the nest over here. Like, that's a, a friggin' egg the size of my thigh. My character's thigh, anyway. Don't know about my actual thigh. But, uh, if I had an egg that size, that would make a mighty omelet, that's all I'm saying. Look, there's an egg! This always makes me think of, this will only take a moment, wait for me, will you? Um, why make a second account? That is a good question. There's a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them is that I've been playing Guild Wars 1 since 2005 uh, on one account, and it's kind of neat to get the new account experience again um, of not having resources and all that sort of stuff. Um, another reason is because it's just an efficient way of getting more character slots. <laughs> uh, and uh, part of it for me, too, is... I'm, I like the idea of unlocking all skills again because I've had all skills unlocked on my main account since, I guess, not long after I Have the North came out. If we're thinking about how that all works. So it's exciting to like unlock skills again and all of that. See the skill unlocked pop up. Uh, so those are some of the major reasons. It's not something I was thinking of doing for a very long time, but... Uh, then the... Steam sale happened, and it was like less than 15 bucks to do, so... Figured, might as well. Look, there's an egg. Let's only take a moment. Whenever he says, look, there's an egg, by the way, I always think of that video of the guy fighting the bear where he says, look, there's an eagle. Man, that's an old video now. It's a way to be able to play through my favorite game again in a fresher way than I normally can. I just kind of refamiliarize myself with the first time player experience in a way. I much prefer it when they drop gold coins than when they drop items worth two gold. Ooh, that's even better. I do like all of these carapaces, since the carapaces stack. Stackable loot is best loot, I agree. Eventually... <laughs> My Executioner Strike will be charged. Uh, oh, there's the Poisonous Stinger I needed. I 
Okay, we can get back to the Duke. It was a nice little opening. You can see a tree through it. Man, I'm just picturing in Guild Wars 2 people jumping through that hole. I would love a pre-searing fractal. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in here. And you get this Poison Devourer to Brother Menlo. I like how interconnected the NPCs are in pre-searing. Yeah, I know there's one where you are, like, fighting as part of the... as a char, but... It's, like, I want to be able to revisit these maps, you know? I think it'd be really interesting, actually, to revisit them during the Guild Wars. Well done. I'll give you a couple eggs for your trouble. I'm not usually so generous, but I happen to be in a jovial mood at the moment. Thank you. Oh, and a level up. I will put those all into my Axe Mastery. Okay. I do want to go to Regent Valley or to Fort Rannick. Might as well do it now. It's a long walk, though. Uh, it gives you two because one of the Mesmer quests has you kill a bull uh, and then Old Mac gets angry about you uh, at you about it and demands a devour egg for uh, Ware Guild, basically, like as payment for the bull that you killed, because um, the bull helps protect his arm. Um, and so he he's like, I will take a devour egg as recompense, and then he raises that devour to be Joe, uh, the devourer. So that's why you get two eggs, one for that quest and one for Pitney's quest. But if you don't do that particular Mesmer quest, you wouldn't encounter the need for the second Devourer Egg, so uh, it would be unsurprising to have uh, not experienced that. I love these bridges. I love Ivy climbing on stonework. I think that's such a pretty aesthetic. And these these bridges are lovely. Would have been quite the engineering project to make them, I think. I wonder how much Earth Elementalists could help with engineering. They don't really talk about that sort of thing. Oh, I am stuck. tell you're stuck when you don't move or when enemies keep attacking you without moving. That's what it is. I think I normally have that like down there and this up slightly like that maybe. I don't know. New account means my interface is all off and subtle ways that I'm trying to figure out how to adjust for. I like this little pool here, by the way. I think I have a screenshot of my first warrior, Baratus, standing by this pool. I have, like, all of my ancient Guild Wars 1 screenshots. I have folders of Guild Wars screenshots. <laughs> Uh. We're gonna walk over to this thing here. I feel like it. I wonder what this circle originally was. These stone ruins, if it was some sort of structure there or not. Oh, I have so many. Useless build templates. 
actually. Yeah, because this is the same thing. It has all of them. So I have like the old pre builds stuff. Mary, I will get to your quest later. Somebody needs to go along and do some uh, some fence repair around here. Uh, I'm so glad you happened along. Could you help me, please? Uh, I was out here picking apples. I'd almost filled my basket when the spiders... Ugh, they were everywhere. It must have been the scent of the apples that attracted them. Anyway, I dropped my basket and ran. What else could I do? But I won't get any wages for today if I don't get that basket back. Can you go into the orchard and get my basket for me? Uh, those spiders won't give you any trouble, I'll warrant. Actually, those spiders won't give you any trouble, I'll warrant. There, give that a proper line read. And walk around that bush that way, because why not? I don't think Lord Darren has anything for me yet, no. There's eventually a quest that brings you here. And this guy, I think, wants spider legs and gives you an armor piece. He does. I find it very strange that these are Crichton armor pieces that you're getting. But uh, never mind that fact. Okay, I definitely am selling eight dull carapaces. And these red iris flowers. Probably don't need to start carving. Technically, you can get two more gold by saving it, but I don't think that's worth it. I don't need this extra worn belt. Salvage that for an iron ingot. I'm going to need a lot of iron in posts here. Um, let's... Why do I have a... Oh, yes, the orchard. Let's... Turn in little Tom's big cloak. Um, Duke Baradin has a quest for me now. Uh, the true king. I recently received word from Devona that a char ranger has been sighted south of the wall. Tom and I will begin scouring the countryside for this creature. In the meantime, I need someone to go into Regent Valley to Fort Rannick and deliver a message warning Lord Darren. He must begin his own search for this char fiend. Ah, my bearskin cloak at last. Tis lovely, isn't it? You took this belt, did you? I'd have slain the beast me own self, but I tend to be a bit heavy-handed, so I do. Each time I kill a bear, I cleave it so mightily that the pelt is ruined. Ha ha! Uh, thank you for that. But also, for this upgrade of an axe. Definitely an upgrade. I can also ask him about opposition to the king. You've got a lot of nerve talking about that here. Uh, it's true, the duke was next in line when the royal family was assassinated, but he fully supported the crowning of Adelburn. Was not the duke, after all, who appointed Adelburn commander of the army after the Battle of Rin? I'd like to know more about the Battle of Rin. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I'll also use the char carvings in the upcoming Winter's Day. Yeah, but then I have to hang on to them. Unfortunately, we're after the Guild Wars at this point. It's very ironic that this name game is named Guild Wars, but we the only time we ever participate in the Guild Wars is during the April Fool's Day time travel quests. It's kind of named that after the, um, I mean, I took a weird route. I came into this map from Wizard's Folly initially, so. Um, too bad you can't talk to any of these, like, Esklin guards or whatever. But it is very weird that this game, despite being called Guild Wars, does not actually take place during the Guild Wars. 
Uh, it's probably named after GVG, but... The last Guild War kind of, like, just ended recently at the start of the game, so. <sighs> Sometimes you just want to stand there and take it in. The vineyards, the stormy clouds, the trees. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain this afternoon in this game. <laughs> Uh, the weird rocks that don't know whether or not they exist. You know, the usual. I wonder how hard it would be to data mine all the geometry and everything from this and then insert it into another game. That'd be a fun Dark Souls mod taking place on the Guild Wars maps. I don't know why, and this is something that kind of confuses me. There isn't a very straightforward route through here. It's kind of like there's kind of these paths and bridges that go off, but then it just kind of meanders into this like wilderness area. I feel like there, I would expect there to be more of a clear road connecting Ascalon City and the Duke's estate. Like, surely they do shipping. Like, it's clear the Duke does a lot of winemaking because of all the vineyards. I imagine Ascalonian wine is kind of a big deal. Uh, in general, but, but like, there's this path here, but where does this path actually go? Hmm, let's talk to Kasha and Grasden. And then I'm going to follow this path to see exactly where it goes, because I feel like it just ends at some point. Now I'm not actually so sure. I love the little falling leaves. I love falling autumn leaves. They're so pretty. Hey, Kasha. Uh, Kasha, greetings. I'm Kasha Blackblood. I train necromancer apprentices in the art of blood magic, that is, stealing health from enemies to feed oneself. Is there something you'd like to discuss with me? Opposition to the king. Maybe you don't remember how Ascalon was before Adelburn. The crown peddled influence to guilds for the slightest show of coin. Who would wish for a thing like that to return? Not I. Long live the king. I love the little bits of, like, reference to it that they give here, though. Tithe for Ashford Abbey. You're here to collect Baradin's tithe. You look like you could use a little assistance on the return trip. I'm certain that Duena will be watching over you should you encounter any bandits on your way back. Opposition to the king. From what I have seen, King Adelburn is a man of great compassion. There will always be those malcontents who seek to blame every hardship in life on the current monarch. Many of the royalists are merely misguided. In time, they will realize the error of their ways. I hope you are right. And there's Kasha Blackblood killing a Grawl Shaman. You've got this. Yep. I got 32 experience points for it, though. Okay, let's follow this road. Man, I love these cobblestone roads going through these large autumnal trees that you get in various places in Priestering. It's just so good and, like, mmm. Full of nostalgia is what it is. Okay. Yeah, because it goes through this, like, slalom area. This may be a bit strong. Yeah, and then the road just sort of terminates in whatever structure was here. Right? And it's kind of weird that the road just, like, terminates. I mean, there's a cave over here. There's a bunch of stone elementals for some reason. The music stopped when I entered this cave and went to cave music? Or maybe it's sort of incidental? I don't know. This axe has plus 10% damage while in this stance. So it's not a great example of 
dance with death, but you know, it's better than nothing. I wonder what structure was here though, because it's clear that this is implying there was a thing here, right? There's these broken pillars and a road that leads to this and then it just sort of terminates. And then you have to go around. This should clearly be way more worn. There should be a road or something to Duke Baird and State. I know at this point I'm just like thinking about map design because uh, it's good to think about if you want to make maps and games and that's something that I do want to do. Yeah, I could see it being an old shrine. And then we get over here and here's the vineyards and stuff. I don't know, I just would expect more of a road leading over to here, right? Because like these areas are connected. It's not like they're shipping stuff through the catacombs, I ex should expect. Do I have... Okay, I need to talk to Necromancer Mune for that. Um, That's Devona. I need to talk to Menlo for that. Okay, let's drop this off in Regent Valley. Uh, Lord Darren. This one, as I recall, is one of the more rewarding. Yes, 750 experience points is a ton for this point in the game. What's this? A letter from the Duke? Oh, I see. The good Duke suggests that I am not doing enough to serve Ascalon. See what he says here? I trust you and your men, being so far from the conflicts of the wall, have ample resources to hunt down this char. Between you and me, Baradun is fortunate. He is so skilled a warrior, else he'd learn to regret being such a poor diplomat. In any case, this message has been received. You may consider yourself dismissed. Yeah, because the wall runs here, right? And there's this boxy area. Uh, and then the, the wall continues here. And what, Old Ascalon ends here? This is where we go into it uh, in the breach post-searing, I believe. Uh, and then this, this continues along here. I have plenty of pictures of this map. I'm tempted to take another one, but what would it be the point? Um... So Fort Rannick is way south of the wall. Probably had important strategic import like important strategic importance at some point. I say re important too many times there, and then I'm like, I don't want to say that again, and then I stumble on my own words. Um Okay, that's talking to Devona. I need to go. Let's just go to Ashford Abbey. I have a bunch of things to do from over here. Uh, let's start by selling some junk. Oh, this hammer is better than this hammer. You know how I can tell it's better? I like the ball hammer skin a lot. Give me Victo's Mall. I don't need this divine symbol. It's not the worst or anything, but... And then I don't need this hammer because I have a better hammer. Excellent. Don't need belt pouch showing up in there. Oh, I do need a new salvage kit. These salvage kits are have only 10 charges, but they're only 40 gold. So they give you a discount on worse salvage kits. For those who, I don't know, never paid attention to pre serving salvage kits for some reason. Is the poisonous stinger intact? Yes, that's perfect. And there's enough here that I can begin work on an antidote. Actually, now that I think about it, I like that that enemy drops two of them because it has two tails, because devourers have two tails. Uh, this I also don't need. Energy plus three, health plus ten, armor plus five. So I might as well sell that. Why does my chat keep popping up every single time I zone? It's kind of annoying. Oh, this game has its quirks. It's like the minion panel. It has a tendency to, to pop back up. Oh, 
Ah, an adventurous one. What brings you to the dark today? Charles in the catacombs. Rook is wise to suspect the char of moving through the catacombs. They are fraught with much danger, but if you were familiar with them, they could lead you almost to almost any region in Ascalon. So got my associate Oberon the Reviled. He makes his home deep in the catacombs, and we'll know if any char have ventured there. The dead are restless. Buried here are many brave warriors who sacrificed their lives defending Ascalon from foreign guilds from the south and the bestial char to the north. They wonder if it's not too much that their sacrifices be remembered and honored. Someone must place candles on the four stands commemorating their actions, so they will know that we have not forgotten them. As you wish, rites of remembrance. Um, I need to go talk to Pitney about the worm problem. I'm going to put these votive candles in their holders first, though. Oh man, up to maximum of 24. Spicy. Oh man, look at that double damage. Feeling so good. This character will eventually capture Signet of Judgment. Probably won't go for like all monk skills or anything like that, but because uh, I'll be making a primary monk later. But I've been doing a playthrough with a primary monk, <laughs> so I'm not in a hurry to do another one. I've been playing a lot of monk lately when I've been playing this game, so. Uh, it's nice to change things up. Uh, yeah, we've. What Ron and I have been doing lately on Sundays is we've just been doing a playthrough. So we made new characters in Prophecies. Um, I made a monk. She made an Ellie. Uh, and we've been playing through the campaigns with those characters. So we're in Vobby now. But I've been playing a monk for that. And that's a temporary character on my main account. So it's like, how, what is my level of investment in this character has been a little bit difficult to balance. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, makes sense. I like pre searing and I like getting access to a bunch of skills from prophecies, but by the way, random shrine to Grenth. Yeah, that makes sense. See, that would have been nice. We we played through prophecies and factions with henchies. Um, and then we got to Nightfall, and then I remember to have mercenary <laughs> heroes on my, my main account. <laughs> uh, so I've been using some of those in addition to the other ones, but we've been doing all heroes now that we're in Nightfall. And life was easier. But there's something about playing through prophecies and uh, factions with with henchies. I'm not necessarily intending on like doing a straight playthrough. Like I might pop into to go get heroes and other stuff as well. Um, okay. Yes, I want to go to Ashford Abbey and take this to. It is good that they added heroes, though, for just the long-term health of the game. I don't think... I think it would have been much harder for Guild Wars 1 to still be a game that people like playing these days if they were stuck with just henchmen or playing with other people. I think the heroes made it way more viable for the game to like continue and persist as a beloved classic. 
started the playthrough with like 14, 15 people. After the first week, we lost two. The next week, three. The next week, four, and so on. By the time we were on the mainland of NF, it was just draw yourself and land down. Just three for NF factions and half of prof. Yeah. That could be. I don't remember exactly when I joined up. It has been a while. Actually, I want to talk to Devona first. Because I'm going to need to run off with him. Tithe for Ashford Abbey. Thank you for delivering the tithe. I trust you didn't run into any trouble you couldn't handle. You can be sure I'll pass word of your bravery on to Sir Titus. Thank you. So, the Duke's people are loyal to Adelburn after all. <laughs> Alderburn. They misspelled Adelburn here. I am pleased to hear that. If you can technically say that it is still ongoing, it's more just a designated, hey, if people want to play without this, this is the time to log in. Yeah, it is more or less that. I don't know. I I like having a regular time to do it, and, and I have a lot of fun with it. I'm not much for the city. Nope. Ashford is more my speed. Say, what seems to be on your mind? All right. I'll try to lure the queen to the open. You do the killing. Come on. My old field is this way. Yeah, I can certainly understand that. It still throws me off whenever I hop into the Spud server and see that you're uh, a mod. I don't know what level exactly it is there, but it is neat when something you start has kind of taken on a life of its own to an extent. But Ron and I have been keeping that torch lit. Bit of a hike over to Pitney's Field, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Get ready for the Worm Queen. I have some interest in seeing some of the raids. Hey, Pitney. Thank you so much. Those worms won't be a problem now. I'm at a loss. First those worms, now someone has stolen my prize mobird. To make matters worse, the tracks seem to indicate that whoever took her led her off to the catacombs. I don't have to tell you how dangerous it is down there. But wait, you're a strong warrior. Would you be willing to find my poor bird and bring her back? I'll find your bird. Uh, but I want to go from this entrance. No, I haven't done any raids. I did fractals with ZPM, uh, Rosguild. You probably know that. Uh, at, like, I don't know. A um, couple months ago, maybe a month, month or two. I don't know. A little bit ago, I did a little bit of fr low, lower level fractals, uh, where we actually hit that Ascalon, the assault on Ascalon fractal. Um, but I haven't tried any raids. I know my cousin's been raiding with ZPM and stuff, but uh, that's not something I've looked into. I. <sighs> So I don't think you've looked in at the wizard astral reward stuff yet. The wizard's vault rewards. Um, astral claim. I was mashing too many interconnected concepts together all at one word all at once. But um, I've uh, gotten ascended chests. Yeah, so I've gotten ascended chests for, or like arm chest for ascended armor for my rev my revenant but i don't know what 
armor set to get, like what stat block I'll actually want <laughs> for that character yet. So that's kind of a long-term to figure out sort of thing. Wait, this is not the entrance I was thinking it was. Eh, I guess it's good enough. I think the Astral Acclaim reward system is far superior to what they were doing for dailies before, and it added weeklies. Yeah. But, like, I still would want to be, like, set up for it. I mean, I've, I'm on exotics. I need to... I have some runes that I need to upgrade to superior. Or runes, sigils that I need to upgrade to, to superior. But a lot of it is I just... I don't know what stat blocks are good. What would be nice is to complete all of the return to uh, mission or achievements and unlock that legendary amulet so I can at least have that for my account. But legendary stuff is... Um, they wouldn't be entirely useless, but it's less significant. I still think legendary runes would be useful. My understanding is that they're going to be introducing a legendary relic, and legendary rune stuff will help with the progress for that. They need more sigils, though. There were rune effects that don't have sigil effects, uh, and it would be really good for them to um, expand that. But you would still have legendary runes. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say that they're useless. Here's the corpse of the prize moa bird. Oh no! It got killed! Yeah, it does. I'll agree with that. And that's why um, having legendary runes unlocked is going to give you a bunch of progress towards legendary relics once that comes out. But I absolutely get where you're coming from with that. And and they, I think, like I agree with you and I think Arena agrees with you. Right, because my understanding is they, they do want to uh, do something. Right, I think they probably haven't finished figuring out the Legendary Relics setup yet. So that would be my guess as to why they haven't been more specific. I have no idea what it takes to get Legendary Runes. Can you basically, like, just check out as many legendary runes from the armory as you need, or... I have no idea. I don't have any legendary stuff, so I don't, have the le don't know how the legendary armory works. It sounds convenient. Sure, but like, let's say you like, I don't want this exotic armor set anymore. I want to save inventory spot space for another stat block, right? And you want to delete it. I guess you could just salvage them off. I don't know. Friggin' water breathers are so hard to get from what I can tell. Maybe there's better ways. I don't know. Hey, Oberon. Greetings. I'm called Oberon. Curses are my specialty. What can I elucidate for you, young one? You come here seeking char? You are wise to seek out Oberon, for no creature, be they living or dead, moves through here without my knowledge. And this char that you seek comes often to the underground, but he does not make his lair here. The spirits of this place would not tolerate him, should he seek to take up residence. If you require proof of his presence, take this. It's a token he left behind during one of his encounters with the denizens of this place. And now then, leave me to my studies. Return to the world of light. I don't know, man. I feel like he got a lot of light right here. So I don't know what you're talking about.
One rune is gift of craftsmanship, 50 provisioner tokens, a gift of condensed might, a gift of condensed magic, and a gift of runes. Roughly 300 gold cost. Total is about 600 gold per rune, and you need six. Whoo, boy. That is a lot. I feel... Legendary stuff feels like an absolutely ridiculous grind to me. Yeah. Um you can probably get a lot more provision tokens because they added a bunch in the new um secrets of the obscure map. And some of them you can trade in stuff for 5 rather than just one. Um but I mean you're making expensive weapons that you could sell on the market, so Uh, and there's ones that you can trade in. You can trade in an unlimited number of time locked crafting materials, like the uh, stuff. So, yeah, they're they're the Soto maps have um, like five perversioners per each one, plus the Wizard's Tower has one. Um, and, like, most of them are, will accept, like, five globs of Ecto, or, um, a stack of the Elderwood, Mithril, or, um, Thick Hide sections, or 500 Silk Scraps. So I just buy one occasionally when I have too much mithril or wood, basically, is what it works out to. This is proof enough. You have served Ascalon well this day. I will mobilize the troops and search for this beast. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, it would be good for them to add some of that stuff as an option. Let's go turn this in the Necromancer Mune and then talk to Pitney. Frankly, if you ask me, Guild Wars 2 has way too many systems and it's just so convoluted. Wow. Appeasing the spirits wasn't so difficult after all, was it? Uh, learning to understand the dead is the first step in understanding the art of the necromancer. Right. I always find it a little interesting that you can go around behind this. leads to a bunch of gargoyles. This will eventually take you over to the Green Hill County exit. That's over here. I'm going to walk this path because I feel like it. Yeah, random statue of Grenth. A bridge. It's gargoyle infested tunnels. I farm these gargoyles for their skulls so I could trade them in for. Oh, there's the tomb nightmare that you need the flame geysers for. Uh, so I could trade them in for uh, the collector armor, which is deeply unworth getting. It's not worth spending time getting unless you're planning on staying in pre, in which case it's barely worth getting. Okay. 
Gargoyle, you are in my way. Wow, I'm actually doing some semi-reasonable damage. That's exciting. I don't think they do anything with the area over here, do they? The spot was always kind of a neat, mysterious little... Like, what's going on here? Just some sort of crazy mausoleum. Absolutely wild. Let's see. I think there's... Auto-target foes when there's no shows in target. Yeah, I'm going to turn those auto-targets off. I don't like them. All right, today's Thursday, isn't it? Weird. But that's what holidays do. And this bridge. Over these bones, by the way. Like, what? What are these bones? Those are huge bones. Is that a giganticus lupicus skeleton? Dragon bones? Who knows? But just enormous bones under this bridge. Very big bones. Some Something had really big bones. And then they ended up there somehow. Then here's Carlene. She'll give you boots for Scargirl Skulls. Because she also wants bones. She's all about them bones. Hanging out right by the bone bridge. <laughs> Which is the bridge over bones, not a bridge made of bones. And then this leads out into Green Hills County. They should have probably put the zone transition a little bit earlier, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Yep. Northern end of Green Hills County over here. Oh, I love pre searing so much. <laughs> I will be spending a lot of time here because I'm going to be making several Prophecies characters. All the core professions in Prophecies because I love pre-searing that much and Ascalon that much. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I kind of want to get to heroes pretty soon, though. Just that way I can, like, witness their expanding inventory of skills as I unlock skills. Uh, display as small grid, please. That feels small. That feels big. Do I just have my normal account at, like, interface size large? That feels more more correct. I don't know. This no, that's that doesn't that doesn't feel right either. What the heck is I don't know. I'm confused. But these feel small somehow. I want them like 10% bigger or something. Okay, let's go. Are those the only quests I have left? We might end today by going to post. That seems very probable. Because I'm not trying to be 100% thorough. Obviously, I can't be. I already... Um, turned in a bunch of... Or I already picked a secondary, so I was like, I'm not going to do all of those here, obviously. Okay, I need to go. This direction. That's kind of surreal, actually, to think about. Just having a second account, I mean. Okay, Pitney. My precious bird is dead? 
And part of some kind of ritual, you say? Just my luck. Well, at least nothing worse can happen to me today. In any case, thank you for your trouble. Right. Nothing worse can happen. This, by the way, is the sword that looks like a um, fancy sword. Crystalline sword. So they have the crystalline sword skin in Guild Wars 2 as well, but it doesn't quite look the same. Let me get some bones. Start my collection of bones. Bones. Sixteen gold. That went up by a good bit. Those are probably, strictly speaking, not worth identifying. Um, just their probability of going up enough that they're worth more than a salvage or than a, the ID kit cost is low. But you should ID everything after a certain point because it does get increased value, and that includes these quest rewards because, like this one, went up from ten being worth ten gold to being worth sixteen gold. So they can like up to double their value, I think. And that that can add a lot with some of the later quest rewards. Let's go talk to Hamish here. I'll go help Mary Malone and then do across the wall. And then probably head to post because there's not a whole lot more here to do in pre. Been fairly thorough. Gotten all nostalgic looking around. I can always hop on my main account on my perma pre if I want to spend more time here. I'll hang on to that longsword for a moment, but probably not indefinitely. My inventory is so small right now. Okay, um, let's go over here. That's your rated shield makes a huge difference, by the way, uh, that you get from slash bonus. I might have it on this account. I'm not sure, but uh, it has minus two damage while in stance, and that can mean that going into frenzy means you take less damage, which is wild. And Necromancer's got such good fashion. There's a lot of solid Guild Wars 2 armor sets, but there's quite a few that just... Guild Wars 1 armor sets that I really like that they don't have in Guild Wars 2. And in particular, Necromancer style is, is especially lacking. I liked how this game has each profession have their own unique look and style as well. And that's something, like, I completely understand why Guild Wars 2 doesn't do that. Because for every single armor set, they have to make male and female variants for all five races. And so, like, having more than just humans absolutely balloons their scope uh, for everything. So every single friggin' piece of armor they add to the game needs to have, like, ten versions to just fit the different bodies and it has to be able to adjust with the different morphologies that each body can have so it's a lot of work to add an armor set in uh, Guild Wars 2 much less work in Guild Wars 1 uh, although there are a few different body types in Guild Wars 1 as well um, Warrior is notably different yeah but there's still just a lot of Guild Wars 1 so like I understand why they bundled it into heavy medium and uh, light like, that makes perfect sense as a way to try to manage that overhead, right? Um, but it still means that I miss having sort of the unified profession appearance where you could, could tell what profession someone was by looking at them, right? Of course, it's hard to look at any character in Guild Wars 2 without being having your eyes seared out with how bright and flashy everyone seems to be. That's not... I like some flash and some pizzazz, but I like that on my, like, skill effects and stuff. And I feel like uh, Guild Wars 2 stuff is a bit too shiny. <laughs> in Guild Wars 2, you have to ask, is this a character I'm looking at or a light bulb? Exactly. That is the exact issue. Oh, 
Wow. These spiders are getting dropping hard apple cider, which somehow feels thematically appropriate given that they want apples. Okay, time to get this basket back. One of the people you raided with in the past used the stacking yellow Halloween infusion. They had like 16 of them. You couldn't see their character model through their brightness. Wow. I got the amulet with the black thing in it from Halloween. And I also got one of the red ones, but I sold it on the trading post. There's so much quality, like good quality of life in Guild Wars 2. Like there's lots that I love about Guild Wars 1, but the quality of life in Guild Wars 2 is just so nice. I know they wanted to do an auction house like the Guild Wars 2 one in Guild Wars 1, but the, it just couldn't support it. And Embark Beach was originally designed to like represent that space. But it is an interesting question too of like where where do you put friction points in a game? Because like fast travel is a really good example. It's super convenient to the player, but that friction like that loss of friction does stuff, you know. You do miss player-to-player -player trading in Guild Wars 2. There's some benefits to it as well. I'm not sure. The thing is, if they added... the, Because you can gift people stuff by mailing it to them, right? Um, but, like, if they had direct player-to-player -to -player trading in Guild Wars 2, it would create a secondary market, like, outside of the trading post, and I, I don't think that's ideal either. But yeah, I get I get what you mean. I think. Actually, I'm not sure that I do. What what do you miss about direct player to player trading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mailing requires a lot of trust. Thank you so much. You're so kind to help me. I don't know what I would have done. Well, for some reason you had an axe and a storm artifact on hand, so you know there's that. Oh yeah, this one, an enchanting axe. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, but the thing is the um Trading post tax is there to remove money from the economy. So, of course, people want to avoid it. Um, but it's an important part of their, like, money sink process. Right. It, it does require all of the trades to move through money, right? Oh, it is, it is a pretty severe tax. I'm not going to disagree. I'm just saying that there's a reason why they introduced it. And it's like why fast travel has a cost associated with it. Except then they subvert that uh, in like, especially Living World Season 3, where it's like, oh, and here's a fast travel scroll to every single one of these maps. And one nice convenient bundle. But yeah, for sure, 20% of 510k is is obviously... Uh, like a fifth of that is 1,000 to 2,000 gold. I find them very convenient, especially whenever one of the dailies requires me to go to Heart of Maguma and I can just quick warp to Bloodstone Fen <laughs> to do it rather than having to fast travel to... Um, Somewhere in Maguma, Heart of Thorns territory. And then you can have the uh, fast travel to Arbor Stone. They have a new one for Soto as well. Secrets of the Obscure. They're convenient.
I'm glad they let you go up here solo. That was a really nice little change. <sighs> the Northlands. Feels like you're really going somewhere dangerous when you step out into the Northlands, you know? Suddenly there's more ruins around. Not those little settlements, but like ruined structures and the walls behind you instead of in front of you, as it were. And enemies are like higher level. I love pre-searing so much. This oak hearts. Gonna get it. Take that oak heart. Oh man, 80 whole experience points. Char hanging around. There's burn marks all over the place. Northlands are really cool and special in their own way, but I am not delving deep into them on this character. <laughs> Does kind of make me want to hop onto my Perma Pre on my main account, though. The wallpaper for my computer's login screen is from is a screenshot taken from over that way. Uh, where you can see those pillars, you know, those warthogs. Very nice. A nice, comfortable romp through pre searing does take about four hours, doesn't it? Hmm. Here's picking square. Isn't the guy I'm looking at? No, he's on a different spot. Got a lot of supplies sequestered over here. All right, you have a good rest, Hawk. I probably won't be going much longer, just heading into post-searing in Nascalon City and opening my Shunlai account and probably wrapping up there. I want to transition activities myself soon. But it was great having you hang out, and I do appreciate it. And happy Thanksgiving. Now, this is an axe you can stab with. I mean, kind of, anyway. Hello, am I glad to see you? I'm not sure how much longer I'd have lasted out here. Well, we will get you back home safe and sound. I wonder what was here at these broken pillars. They feel like they have some sort of significance, but it's also not explained. Doesn't need to be explained, but it's not. I've always loved ruins, though. And that's something that I think is part of why I love Ascalon so much. Plus the sudden contrast, you spend a lot of time here doing quests, both in pre-searing and post-searing and all of that. I 
Ow, that was a rock at my head. How rude. Ben Wolfson's level 5, I'm level 6. Did good damage to that guy, though. Hmm. I love autumn trees so much. Hey, and there's a little butterfly over there. It's always nice to have little things like insects floating around. Good use of simple particle systems. Are you my life, friend? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to talk to Gate Guard Torn now. Yes, I knew in my gut he was still alive. Thank you so much for finding him. You're welcome. I don't have inventory space for that. I don't need this devourer egg for anything. All right. That's that. Quest log's now just a the thing for glory. That feels fairly thorough. I'm content with that. Let's start by visiting the merchant. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want either of these. They're not really worth IDing either. And I'm not going to... Wow, enchantments last 5% longer, huh? So it has to last 20 seconds before it'll last one second more. It's definitely not worth using, if that wasn't clear from my tone of voice. By the way, girl necklaces usually have plant fibers in them, so that's neat. Give me another one of your weak salvage kits. There we go. Honestly, there's a good chance I'll sell these plant fibers for money. Since they're usually worth something. All right. Uh, oh, man. Friggin' Crichton Coat. Now that gives me some flashbacks. <laughs> Somebody has a Prince of Rurik tonic. It'll be a very long time before this count gets... Tonics. Ah, unless I decide to trade them over. I might. I might trade some tonics over from my main. We'll see. I'm not in a hurry to do that because they take up space. But that sounds tedious to set up. All right. Have you heard? We're almost ready to set out. Before you join us, keep in mind that you'll have to say goodbye to all the comforts of Ascalon City. Out there, beyond the wall, our lives will be in constant danger, and we'll have only our comrades to rely on. But Balthazar willing, we'll drive these char from our kingdom once and for all. I have dropped 118 frames, apparently, at some point. Hmm. Oh, well. We are mustering our forces now. The attack against the char will begin tonight. Let me know when you're ready to go, but be sure that all of your affairs are in order before you do. Once we leave, there will be no turning back. You may not see friends or family for quite a while. If you have unfinished business, attend to it before we go. Uh, I don't have anything else in my quest log, and I'm quite content with what I have done. I'm ready to leave everything behind. You'll be allowed in this a little shortly. Please wait in town. Welp. Apparently I need to wait in town. I have, like, all of the festival hats on my main account and none on this one. Please make me new hats. I can only make hats that I've seen before. It's customized for you, yeah. What? I don't have any costumes. I'm not going to click those because I don't know what those buttons would do. I don't want to accidentally, like, open up the store website or something like that. That would be not what I want. Yeah. So normally there would have been a PvP match back in the day there, but 
Uh, we don't get one anymore these days. People aren't leaving pre-searing Ascalon in high enough quantities. It's one of those, like, relics of, like, when that made sense as a design pattern and doesn't anymore because of the population of the game of, like, there just aren't that many people going to, to post-searing. I'm sorry I could not join you before the skirmish. I was delayed by official business. He was delayed by me. I wanted us to watch the battle together. Sir Titus did not exaggerate when he spoke of you. You have shown great promise today. I have been keeping the prince informed of your deeds. After seeing your courage for himself, I believe he is convinced. I am. I have come to induct you into Ascalon's vanguard. We are the elite protectors who guard our nation when threatened from within or without. As part of the vanguard, you are needed for a critical mission before we can begin our offensive against the Char. Our sentries spotted Vatlod Doomtooth and his war band in the old bunker out behind the Citadel. He must have found passage that led here from the catacombs. Whatever his purpose, it can be no good. As soon as you are ready, the prince himself will accompany you to cast this Char fiend out of our land. So this is where we become part of the prince's vanguard, uh, rather than in the king's army. And as we'll see when we play through stuff in Ascalon, there are tensions between the two groups. The king's army is more reserved, trying to hold and defend the wall. The vanguard is pushing forward and striking in enemy territory. And they both think that the king's army and the king think the vanguard are a bit too reckless. And the other group is thought of as the uh, vanguard thinks that they're too defensive and cautious on the uh, the other group. So you can see Vatlaw Doomtooth there, the spirit of favorable winds. There's Lakeside County across the way. We saw that earlier. That's where we fought Tads, Riverscale Tads, uh, just a few short hours ago. I was level 1 then. I'm level 6 now. Almost level 7, which is exciting. And I have more energy skills than adrenaline skills. Barely. <laughs> I have two signets. I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit. Uh, we also have a party of four. This will teach you to mess with Ascalon. Shouts Prince Rurik. He likes to uh, taunt enemies. Bring your foul self to my blade. A longbow, which was reserved for me. I will absolutely take this three to five gold. I'm being optimistic. It might only be two. These are level four girls. Surely they drop slightly better gear than that. Hey, there it is. In the name of King Adelburn, I smite thee. Um, let's put them in tactics for now. A stronger healing signet. There is the cause of all this trouble. Vatlaw Doomtooth, your days of harrying the citizens of Ascalon are over. Vatlaw has Barrage Doomtooth. The other, there's also a bull's charge on the one bull I was mentioning earlier. But here we are. The cutscene.
It was on that day that the Char discovered a way around the Great Wall, a way to bring it down. Baron Egan? No, Baron. This is where the true story begins. Man. Of course, we gain no experience points in the intervening two years, but. It is hard to express Wait. Holy moly. Oh, it just dawned on me. I don't think I noticed this last time. This is the spot where you friggin' start prophecies. Right? When you're dropped off, you're right by a building. This is the building you're dropped off by. You run across here and talk to Wow. It's the exact same starting spot. Huh. I don't know why I didn't notice that until now. That is wild. But this shift, it's, it seems like it's starting off as a traditional European fantasy setting. And then it does this to you. And it's such a change and a pivot. And it's like... One of those moments, one of those like pivotal moments for me in gaming, and like as a game creator, it's like, oh wow, um, like as as a gamer, as a player, but also like I want to make that sort of moment for people in games that I make, sort of thing. And someday I'm going to actually finish a friggin' RPG Maker MV game. Um, and uh. Tales of Symphonia is another game that, that has a moment like that. But um, I'm not going to say more on that game. Welcome back, Sophia Ash. Looks like the patrol went well. You're still in one piece at any rate. Listen, Prince Rook sent me to ask you a favor. You've been in the field, so you probably haven't heard about this, but an ambassador has arrived from our old enemy, Krita. They can help us fight the Char, but the king won't even talk to him. The prince hasn't been able to make any headway with his father, but he knows the king trusts Titus, and Titus trusts you. Would you perhaps talk to War Master Titus about this matter? He's in his usual place in Ascalon City. Of course I'll talk to Titus. Oh, man. What an absolute moment. It still is potent to me. All these years later... You know, I first experienced this in, sometime in the fall of 2005. August, September, somewhere in there, probably. Um, and it's stuck with me ever since. Just absolutely something. The stage upended. City in ruins. Man, what a moment. What an absolute, like, epic, amazing moment. That's something where, like, if I had seen the proper, mar proper marketing for this game, it probably would have adjusted how I interacted with it. Yep, there's Shiro's descendant, just hanging out like normal. Cat ears and all. Um... Yeah, okay, you also give belt pouches. I feel like there's a bag collector somewhere, but I don't remember where. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just such a thing. I'll worry about some of that stuff later. I would like a storage account. And... Crafting material storage. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's four. That's not bad. I'm down here-ish. I don't have the anniversary storage yet, but I can get that later. Wow, empty material storage too. Wild. Absolutely wild to see. Um, this still doesn't do anything, but it will. It will. How much? Like, what do I need for Corwin's armor? Because that's what I want to build up to. Oh, uh, this is not bad. I'll probably get char hide stuff, honestly. Can I afford a char hide chest piece? Not yet. Okay. That's probably my first goal. Char hide helm. Okay, the helms doesn't really don't really matter. That's definitely good. This is a huge jump up. It's twice the armor level. This stuff is good until way late. I don't know why Kor wins here. He just outclasses like all of the armor you can get for a very long time. It's probably worth saving up for that first. Um, it's weird. I can just deposit my funds if I want to. Oh, yeah. I can also drop these off here. And I'm going to drop this off in here. Oh, it's so weird having an empty bank. So weird. Um, okay, let's... Merchant... That. I'm going to hold on to the gold on this character for the time being. But. All right. Well, that's what I'm going to do on this stream. Um, so just so that way people know, my plans are very indeterminate on when I'll stream next. Um, I don't have any sort of scheduled plans or anything i do want to continue this playthrough or like this account specifically on stream um that is kind of my general intention but i don't have any sort of um specific plans otherwise there's only so much that i'm going to want to play of the game at once like i have other games that i'm wanting to play too so it's just going to be a matter of figuring out what sort of pacing feels good to me and um, like a good frequency and things like that. So I do want to stream more of this and it's great to be back, um, but no definite plans. So, uh, But I thank everyone for watching. It was great to have a bunch of people show up and chat. That was really, really nice. Uh, and I, I do really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you everyone for that. And I will see you next time. Uh, and I look forward to there being a next time. And eventually I'll probably stream some other games too. I'd like to. I want to do some streaming more. Or more streaming. Some other stuff I should work out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Um, I'll probably talk more about it in my live and channel update video on my YouTube channel that I'll, I'll be making next week. Uh, but for now, take care everyone. And uh, goodbye.